everybody to let your light shine here. I'm here in Tustin, California, and uh, right behind me is a little church, and so I will talk all about it. It's pretty cool. So this church was actually just built in, in the 1970s, but it's an actual replica. So, and there was a huge tree. That's why it was called the Little Tree Church. It's a replica of the Hopewell Church near Columbia, Tennessee. Um, but in the 2000, I think the year 2000, the tree died. So now they just call it the Little Church in Tustin. I'm gonna walk around it and see what I can find. Um, it's not open today, which I'm really bummed about. They don't do uh, actual church services in here, but they do like weddings and baptisms. It's a cute little area of Tustin. I'm in the old town Tustin, although for a Sunday, I guess everything's either not open yet or just probably just not open yet. It's in the morning, probably opens late morning. Maybe I can take a peek in this window back here. From the window you can kind of see... I don't know what that is. I'm assuming it's... I have no idea, but there's some pews over there. So even though this church isn't as old as uh, the tree, it says the tree was uh, on the property back in the late 1800s. And there used to be a Victorian mansion on the property in this area. I believe this is also like an orchard area. Okay, I'm gonna read what I found here on the internet. It says a little church in the middle of the Jamestown Village parking lot. Looks like it has been part of Tustin for centuries, but it only dates back from the 1970s. And I have to agree with that because it does look like a very old church. And then the location between Main and 6th Street is exactly where I am right now. See, so this is like Jamestown Village area. Was once an orchard with a magnificent Victorian home. So that's what I was talking about. Not exactly sure where the home was over here, but imagine back then what it used to look like. But, um, okay, so the, it was owned by a by somebody named George Prable, who came to Tustin in 1876, a builder as well as an orange grower. He built the Tustin Hotel, Tustin Lemon Association Packing House, and the Tustin High School in addition to his home. Wow, okay. And in 55, 1955, C.T. Gilbreth, a builder, bought the house, then known as the Franklin P. Crawford House. The pro property shrunk to about two acres Included a well house, a barn, and a couple of automobiles, an orange grove, and a few avocado trees. So the Gilbreth family moved into the house and lived there until 1960 when work began on Jamestown Village. The structure was offered free to anyone who would move it, but there were no takers and the house was demolished in October of 1960. The mantle from the old house was given to Walter Knott for use at Knott's Berry Farm. That's kind of cool. Some of the other interior items were salvaged for use in the shopping center. Okay. And Gilbreth managed to save many of the pine trees surrounding the house, working them into the shopping center's landscaping, but he fretted over the large oak tree in the parking lot. So apparently this large oak tree was here. Again, here's the go completely around here. He explained, I felt that I should do something special around this oak tree. And his thoughts drifted back to his childhood in Columbia, Tennessee. He says, as he reminisced, he recalled 1912 when he had gone with his grandmother by horse and buggy to Hopewell Church, the country church which she had attended from the time of the Civil War was about six miles outside of Columbia. Those pleasant memories provided him with the solution for the oak tree. He designed and built 
a miniature of his grandmother's church, only with the oak tree growing through the middle of it. The little tree church with white clapboard siding and red brick porch. Oh yeah, there it is, okay. And shake roof still stands, but is no longer sheltered by the oak tree. It says a combination of old age and disease killed it back in the 2000s, so. But still stands here in the parking lot, so. It's very cool. Never knew about this uh, church, and I used to live in Tustin at one time. So, it's funny, I never really checked out the old town Tustin, so this vlogging has gotten me out doing some cool things, finding cool things. Well guys, thanks, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and all that fun stuff. And if you're ever in the Orange County area, check out Tustin, California, and the little tiny church. Bye.